What is going on guys and girls? How are you doing today? It's Inga Roleplay here once again. The league is just behind the corner and even though I don't really plan to play the league itself, I wanted to help you out guys with a bunch of builds that would be pretty reliable to start the league with. You know, it's a big fucking problem right now because most of the builds are either dead or just uh, unplayable because of all the changes in the nerfs that are introduced with the 3.15 patch. GGG decided to practically kill the builds at all as a whole and whenever you see the build you know it's really is questionable will it even function like will we have enough mana to use it or does it have enough damage now I checked over 40 of my builds and honestly not many survive because they either are just um, out of mana the mana reservation is completely fucked or the damage is so fucking low that it's not even worth you know try to build building it but a few of them i think are still reliable and i start with this build which is the explosive trap and a flamethrower trap saboteur reliable build it hasn't been nerfed that much uh, so it hasn't really changed much it's a very reliable fast effective tan relatively tanky and uh, also very cheap build uh, and it also has very very good damage so overall it's probably one of the best cheapest high DPS builds existing still in the game in my opinion and looking at how traps were actually quite buffed in this patch I think that traps will be very popular in the uh, expedition so Keep an eye on this build, guys. Uh, this is also quite unique, quite unique approach that I decided to make on this build because I decided to go dodge as the primary defense uh, system. So this is a dodge stacking build. So I've never played dodge character, which relies on just dodging shit and uh, you know it's just not being hit at all, pretty much. This is a nice chance and opportunity for you to try dodge mechanic as a whole so I can totally recommend uh, recommend these guys uh, let's move on to the next build before we go further into the video I would like to stop for a second and thank my Patreon supporters and Twitch subscribers you guys are making a huge impact on my life and allow me to get going and continue creating content for all of you thank you so much if you want to make it into the least and immortalize yourself on the internet, join Patreon and get sneak peeks and behind the scenes footage of my work. I'm always looking for feedback on my content guys in order to improve so make sure you always leave comment, like or dislike, your reaction is very important. And remember, you, yes you, are making a difference. Another build um, in question is the Ancestral War Chief Chieftain. This build has also been actually buffed surprisingly and it survived the, all the nerfs and the, the patch shit whatsoever. It's not the fastest build in the galaxy but it's very reliable and I honestly think that the Brutus uh, Lead Sprinkle will be very expensive this league uh, looking at uh, the fact that we have a new totem support gem which allows you to link slams to the totem so totem will will use slams for attack so you can pretty much use any slam as far as you can um, understand uh, for your totem to use it which is quite interesting and uh, this build which I uh, show you guys the ancestor watch of children can easily be adapted to this old slam um, and new support you can easily turn this build into the slam build if you really want to uh, use it so absolutely no problem so what I, what I like at this build is pretty much really reliable with one of the highest single target bossing damage in the game uh, compared to the amount of investment you can do I easily kill all bosses in about a couple of seconds I actually have videos in this build where I kill bosses in one second and what well, the conquerors which had considerable amount of HP so I think that this build is uh, one of the most reliable kind of totem melee oriented builds in the game still despite all the changes to the 3.15 patch. So if you've never played this kind of stuff guys can totally recommend it you will not be disappointed. Another build under my microscope is the Pestering Struck Pathfinder build. 
I think that Passing Strike is the best poison skill in the game. It has a natural good AoE. It spreads out without any uh, additional proliferation. You don't need Beano's Kitchen Knife to prolif your poison. So it's extremely good skill. Uh, I think this is the best skill with poison in the game. And Pathfinder is the best of Sanity because you can infinitely run the flasks. And, uh, you know, it it's really is very, very good synergy out there. Uh, Pathfinder has actually been buffed this league in terms of poison damage and Assassin has been dramatically nerfed in terms of poison. So now the choice for poison is pretty much only Pathfinder in my opinion. And this is exactly the build you really want to play if you want to try it. The only problem and the only gigantic nerf that happened for this build is that the weapon cannot really be crafted, the one that I had, because they removed the... Uh, the double deeping poison mod from the claws, so you have to adapt and uh, and uh, use wasp mass or or try to craft a different claw. There is still considerable amount of damage in my opinion, which is enough for the end game, but it will definitely not be as impressive as before. Still, I think from the perspective of um, the easiness and the you know the flow and the the whole thing. I think this is still one of the coolest Pathfinder builds. It also runs an enormous amount of armor because it can a shit ton of evasion to armor. So it's pretty damn tanky. Nothing can really hit you. No physical damage can really kill you very fast. So it's rather tanky. It's fast and the damage is very very nice. Check it out if you have never played this one. The next build in question is the Reliable of Shedda Juggernaut. Of Shedda guys I think is pretty much one of the best kind of midi AOE based uh, skills in the game because of how fucking huge this AOE is and it's so so cool to play this skill. In my opinion this is just enormous fun. You know back in the day we had Earthquake which is still actually viable but Earth Shatter is kind of an upgrade over the Earthquake because you don't need to worry about the durations. You know, don't don't need to waste uh, an extra um, uh, skill gems for lowering the duration of the secondary aftershocks on the Earthquake. There is no aftershock. You just slam, shit explodes. Pretty much, pretty straightforward. Plenty of damage, plenty of E. The bossing damage is uh, kind of questionable because you know, like any AOE based um, skill, you have to balance around the uh, error of effect and conk effect, but still, I think it's very, very good. And uh, there's a lot of melee players like the Al Kaiser who are uh, huge fans of the Earth Shedder, and they don't really play anything else. Every fucking league they start with Earth Shedder. Jug is also the best ascendancy because it's still the tankiest melee ascendancy in the game. It has plenty of chaos res, a good amount of armor. You can stack accuracy if you need it, you can stack. Um, Attack speed if you need it. It is pretty flexible on what you want to do and it's uh, because of the high physical damage reduction it can easily use Abyssos. This is the best ascendancy which can run Abyssos which gives tremendous amount of crit multiplier added fizz damage. So all in all I think this is probably still one of the best melee oriented um, attacking based skills in the game. So if you've never played it can highly recommend to try it out. The last build that I want to show you guys is my updated Skelemancer build, which is the Skeleton Summoner Necromancer build. You know, I was uh, one of the few guys who made uh, a very popular physical skeletons uh, build back in the day. Actually, it was not physical, it was fist to call conversion because call was kind of a little bit stronger. But then they started adding things like Impale and all that fancy shit. And physical, pure physical started taking over the conversion. And uh, I really wanted at one point to fully revamp the build. And uh, in the previous leagues I actually revamped the build to full glory. And the damage tripled actually. And uh, now it's like super optimized. A high tier build. Very effective. And as you can probably see, I don't know if you see that or not. So in the build, I will have almost 9,000 life, 9,000 HP. I really invested into the build. I'm pretty much maxed out whatever I could. I got all the juicy support gems. I got everything I could. I crafted a pretty insane bond for this build. 
Uh, unfortunately, some of the mods have been nerfed, I think, on the one, so you can't really craft the same exact thing that I did. So, you know, things get fucked over time. Unfortunately, you, you can't avoid that. But still, still, there is plenty of damage in the build. It's also very reliable. Uh, and then 3.15, they nerfed the minion life as well. But luckily for skeletons, we don't give a fuck because if they die, we don't give a shit. If they die, we just summon more skeletons and, they, you know, if they die, we summon even more skeletons. So we don't give a fuck if they die. It's actually the best thing. There are, like, expandable meat shields. We don't give a... They don't give a fuck if they die. Uh, so we just keep spamming them and shit just dies around. With support gems like the meaty splash, they deal really nice AoE and with the shield charge... Uh, you move across the mm, the map with a pretty decent speed. It's not like lightning speed. You don't fly around, but it's okay. It's decent amount of speed, guys. No big deal. The damage is also very high and uh, can totally recommend the build if you've never played it, guys. This is probably one of the very few minion builds that I can guarantee it works and it has the damage to uh, destroy all content in the game. So thanks for watching. Uh, see you next time and thank you very much.